Okay, so this is the first video to demonstrate and explain the new workflow or um, exporter I've been working on, which is to take the Karamba structural analysis model data from Grasshopper and then convert it into other commercial structural analysis software such as GSA or Robot using the IFC formwork, uh, framework. If uh, when you've installed my plugin and that's available on the downloads page, so if you scroll down, you'll now find Karamba listed under the um, structural analysis software and the installers here to add the Grasshopper component to your to your um, uh, Grasshopper window. It's going to be listed when it can detect that Karamba is loaded as a plugin. It will add this component here under the, the export menu of Karamba. It's a, a pretty simple component. It has three inputs. One, whether it's enabled to export or not. One, the other second input is actually the Karamba model data. And then the third is the path to write the IFC file and it should have a .ifc extension at this point in time. There's one output which basically will log errors or problems or give a report or just report succeeding if it's actually succeeded. Now, to actually then take this data to say robot or GSA, and I'm going to demonstrate both, then you'll see also then under like GSA or robot an extra zip file here. So I'm going to download this. I'll download that and the robot one. Okay, now by default, if you're using a new, a recently new version of of, uh, of Windows, is that the um, it requires you to unblock the zip file as it's created. So if I take the zip file here now, say um, extract, uh, sorry properties, and then say unblock. Okay, eventually I'll probably make an installer also for for this. But for the time being, then extract it. Okay, and then if you go into this folder, all you do is double click on this executable to have it run. There's three components here, one to request a license for this utility. The first one's here, what we're going to use to convert the IFC data to GSA model. So I click on convert and then I'm going to find that file as was written. Okay, so this is the trust.ifc. Okay, and then here it's completed. Now it should hook into the GSA application window. If it doesn't, the data is also placed on the clipboard. So you could actually go right click on the gateway and say paste. Um, to, to get the model into the GSA application. We'll have a look. Here's the restraints that are applied in Karamba. Here's the cross section. And if I also turn on the load, then we'll see the point load, which has been applied here at this particular position. I'm going to run it. Okay. And then if we have a look at the, say, the displacement. Okay, we'll see here we've got a displacement of 5 mil in the y direction and 1.3 in the, in the x. And if I go back quickly to Karamba, this should match to the displacement output, which is here, the 1.3 and the 5 mil in the y direction. So that looks good. And also, I guess, for the axial force, they've got 100 kilonewtons in one member and 141 in the other. If I go back to GSA and turn on the axial force diagram okay then if I put the numeric values on there's the 141 kilonewtons in one and the 100 kilonewtons in the other so good we're getting some nice matching results we can also then because I'm using IFC it gives the option of verifying the model in uh, in various different um, different applications. There's some more exporters that will be released quite shortly. I just need to do the same thing. So I'm going to right click on the on the robot zip file and I'm going to say unblock and then I'm going to unzip it. Okay so for the GSA um, application it's better to have the or for the GSA converter it's better to have the application already running Otherwise, it will start in the background for the IFC to robot. Then it will actually start that uh, the robot application for us.
Okay, so we'll see in a second the robot application appear. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the model. Okay, again, I can see the restraints. I can turn on cross sections. Okay, and I can run it. So certainly not everything's been enabled yet, but it's a pretty decent start. And certainly as users report or request particular features or, or, or attributes to be um, included, then I'm more than happy to do that. So we can have a look here. Here's our maximum displacement of about 5 mil here. And if I demonstrate the axial force diagram, okay, we should get uh, basically the same results. Okay, so 141 kilonewtons and 100 kilonewtons. Okay, so I look forward to getting feedback and suggestions from uh, from users, and I think it could be the start of a pretty powerful workflow.